Shalom. Ko halaim la alahaina wa yehawa ba shimia wa shai ba shimra kakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Shemia Washai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ila coming to you with another lesson. And uh Lord will in this lesson will be entitled The Lord is Against Moles. And I have an article that I want to pull up and uh read a bit into Lord Willing. And then ultimately uh get some scriptures and then close out. So Lord willing the elect of Yahweh by Shemia Washai be edified and let's get right into it. Right, so uh, <clears throat> the heading of this article reads, Colorado Springs shooting live, at least five killed in rampage at gay bar club Q hours uh, after drag show, right? And we know that the wages of sinners, the wages of sin is death, right? So where death is, there is sin. Because if there was no sin, then there would be no death, right? This is Romans 9 and 20, uh, shit, I'm tripping. Romans 6 and 23. And it reads, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, our Lord. Right? I believe it's, uh, And what's sin? Let's get that. Let's get uh, 1 John 3 and 4. And it reads, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Right? Here it is, Romans five, uh, Romans 5 and 13. For until the law, sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law, see? So just, you know, furthermore elaborating upon the fact that sin is the transgression of the law, right? So, uh, and within the law, what does it say? Right, I'm kind of skipping some scriptures that I had to plan to get out, but... You know, ultimately, I'm going to flow through the Spirit. Leviticus 18 and 22, right? This is in the law, and it reads, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is a, it is abomination, right? Which which individuals partake in, these, in that act? Moles, and you should know what I mean by moles, right? Right? So uh, let me get the book of Job, the fourth chapter, kind of going back to what I first mentioned. This is Job 4 and uh, 7, and it reads, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? See that? So where there's death, there's sin. Right? So uh, next, let me get... Let's see, uh, 1 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, and Lord willing, this will be a quick hitter, but, you know, I figured edification can come out of this, so 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, and it reads, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Right, and before reading the, uh, the 10th verse, let me, uh, Go into the word effeminate and the term abuses of themselves with mankind. So let me go to it, First Corinthians 6 and 9. Right, so for the word effeminate, it says, in, oh, before getting that, right, it said neither fornicators as well, which fornicators commit fornication, which fornication is an umbrella of things. Right? And let me let me prove that real quick, and then I'll go back. So this is Colossians 3 and 5, and it reads, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, 
which is idolatry. Now, when you go into that word fornication, right? It's you, it tell, it shows you that it's an umbrella of things. So it says illicit sexual intercourse, right? But those things that fall under the umbrella of fornication are adultery, fornication, homosexuality, lesbianism, intercourse with animals, etc. And when I, when, when I say mo, I'm talking about homosexuality, right? Homosexuals. Right? Also, uh, incest falls under the umbrella of, of fornication, you know? So uh, going back to 1 Corinthians 6 and 9... Now let me go into that word effeminate and the definition of the word effeminate, it says soft, see? It also says of a male who submits his body to unnatural lewdness, which let's look up the word lewdness. The word lewdness, it says crude and offensive in a sexual way, which being a homosexual is offensive to the law of the Lord because it's against the law, right? So, and it's effeminate. And what does it say? It says, know ye not that the, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Let's go into that as well. So that term is talk means uh, one who lies with the male is with the female, sodomite, homosexual, as you see, right? Verse 10, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. So uh, proceeding on, let me go back to Colossians, the third chapter. Let me finish that. Colossians 3 and 5, and it reads, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience. See? You know, so, you know, partaking in these particular acts bring the wrath of the Lord, which a uh, major judgment is coming, right, as it is written. Second Edges 15 and 5, and it reads, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Right? And let me, let me see what this shit is, man. What is a drag show? Because you have something called drag queens. Yep, and that's what a drag show is. It's, de it's dealing with the same shit. So it says a drag show is a form of entertainment performed by drag artists impersonating men or women. Typically, a drag show involves performers singing or lip cinching to songs while performing a pre-planned pantomime, pantomime, whatever the hell that says, or dancing. There might also be some comedy skits and audio. So it's dealing with these motherfuckers, man. So let's look this up. What is a drag queen? So that's... So... These people that died were attending at a fucking drag show, man. So what do you what do you expect? The Lord killed them motherfuckers, man. It says a drag queen is a person, usually a male, who uses drag, clothing, and makeup to imitate and often exaggerate female gender signifiers. So a drag queen is a motherfucking male that dresses up as a woman, man. And these people were attending a drag show. And get, look what the Lord did. Fucking killed them, man. So the Lord is against you, filthy fucks. Second Edges 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Right? And no male, no man is supposed to be... Um, you know, wearing that which pertaineth unto a woman. That's doing that is an abomination in the eyes of the Lord. Right? And let's prove it. Deuteronomy 22 and 5, and it reads, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. 
for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy power. Right? And when you look up the definition of the word abomination, shalaki, like hold tight. It says, a thing that cause, causes disgust or hatred, a feeling of hatred. Right? So an abomination is something that's hated and despised in the eyes of the Lord. Right? You know? Right? So, um, let me get the book of uh, Job, the fifth chapter, 18th verse. And it reads, For he maketh sore and bindeth up, he woundeth in his hands and make whole. So, this situation was, of course, right? And obviously, a doing of the Lord, in particular the Lord Yahweh Shai, because all committed has been, uh, for, because all judgment has been committed unto the Son. Right? You have these people that say God is love and love is God. Well, the Lord is balance, man. The Lord hates and He loves. And even with that, you people don't even know what love is really. You think it's all f about fucking feelings and a gushy ass, fucking you know all that soft shit, man. Right? So, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, let's see. Let me get first, uh, first Samuel, the second chapter. Verse 6, And it reads, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. Also, you got Deuteronomy, to the 32nd chapter. Right? Going to the fact how the Lord is in full control. Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill when I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. It says, for I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. Right? So, uh, Lord willing. Well, no. Got a bit more. So, let me get Ecclesiastes. Or is it Ecclesiasticus? Ecclesiasticus 11 and 14. And it reads, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. And, you know, this was death that came from the Lord. And rightly so, of course, right? Matter of fact, the, uh, the judgment of the Lord is righteous, right? Let's get that. Psalms 19 and uh, 9. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. says uh the lord is known for the judgment which he executed executed okay this is psalms 19 and 6 and it reads the lord is known for the by the judgment which he executed the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands Haggai on salah right so lord will and i ended with this right Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28 on down to verse 31, and it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In a time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right? So the Lord can put a particular spirit on a beast to kill you or, or a person. Right? He can put a spirit of vengeance upon them and have them take you out, you know, Verse 29, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and a sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. Right? And these wicked individuals were punished, right, by way of the sword, which the modern day sword is the gun. Although the Lord has many swords, Esau is one of the swords of the, of the Lord. Right? So the Lord has many swords. Famine is one of the Lord's swords. Pestilence is one of the Lord's swords. So on and so forth, right? 
right? A man can be a sword of the Lord because he can use that man as a sword to take somebody out. Verse 30, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and a sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in this commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time has come. They shall not transgress his word. See? So that's pretty much the point. With that, Lord willing, you were edified. Once again and forever, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and terrible, as well as merciful power. Call Halayim La Alahayanawa Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone once again. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Baba Kasha Ababa Ba. Why Shalom DTA soon and stay sharp. Keep pushing you sincere Akim Wa Akwath. Shalom.